Well, howdy tubers. Welcome back to yet another very popular Subaru video. We're doing rear drum brakes. Um, I already went ahead and did the passenger side, which that one, that was a nightmare. I'm going to show you this side. Um, this side was stuck on pretty good, but not as bad as the other side. Let's get this wheel pilled up. Let's just get into it. I'm not even going to explain anything. One little uh, side note here. I'm getting rid of these wheel locks. When I was at the junkyard, I got a replacement lug nuts. So that is a total gunner. Yeah, there we go. I have good used uh, drums. They're actually uh, fairly new, actually. Uh, when I pulled them off the car I was getting stuff from, uh, it, uh, it had basically brand new drums. These have a huge, well, I ground this one down, but it had a huge lip on it. We got new ones. I'm doing my best to get you all in here. Um, it's kind of tight and I don't want to get you too outside of the cover here because it is, uh, it's raining. Because you know, Mother Nature's like, hey, Jimmy's out there working on his uh, car, so let's start cleaning. These are fairly easy. Using the new hardware, I'll show you what we're going to take apart here. So, the first spring that I took off from doing this is this little one right here. It goes here, it um, keeps tension on the adjuster here. And uh, yeah, you just get that off, get your adjuster piece out, set it aside. And um, yeah, there's uh, two springs, they're not super heavy. And this bottom one, you don't have to fight too much. I'll show you here in a moment. So what we'll do is, before we get that off, um, I'm going to uh, just go ahead and pop these off. We have this special tool called vice grips. Now I have the actual tool uh, for this part. I'm choosing not to use it because I don't want to get up just yet. So what we'll do, we'll put a squeeze on that. We'll turn her around. And there. Off she comes. Of course, we got new stuff. You can see that my, my shoe is missing. Uh, quite a bit of uh, material there. Okay, again we got new stuff so we don't care if we damage that. And of course we got new wheel cylinders too. Um, these are, we're leaking on both sides, the boots are torn and yeah it's just, this thing needed what of got my needle nose here and what I like about this spring is I can just kind of grab it like that okay so there's that and, you know I kind of lay my parts out uh, under the vehicle like where I'm working it kind of gives me an idea where everything goes this spring in the back hooks into the same hole that this one hooked into and then it just hooks in here on the end so we'll grab it Let's see. and off she comes There's that spring. We got a new one. And then set this aside. And then there's the bottom spring. It keeps tension on the bottom of the shoe. And then we have our parking brake cable. Pull the spring back a little bit here. 
So what I do is I'll set this aside so I can match up my, my stuff later. And then get the adjuster out. And that shoe just falls out. Look at this one. There's just nothing left. I think these are original. I'm not quite sure. Maybe not original, but sure seems like it. Um, I probably, probably could have got a new adjuster, but you know, eh. This is where you got to be careful. Um, the line back here is a 10 millimeter. In our area, we don't have to deal with like salt and stuff like that. Um, so these lines should come free. The other side did. Um, however, be careful. You might end up having to replace this little line back here. It's just 10 mil, and the bolts that hold this wheel cylinder on are also 10 mil. So we'll just try and find it and crack it loose. I like to give it a little wiggle. Sorry you can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, that line is free. And get our screws for the wheel cylinder broke free. We'll just go ahead and remove those now. Because you can just go get new screws. Give her the old Cosby sauce. I do this before I take the cylinder out so I don't contaminate the line if I because that line's gonna be protruding. Waiting to get contaminated, I don't want to contaminate it. Take our wire wheel. We clean up our pads, wear our shoes, ride. We take our Motivator 9000, just break that free a little bit. Let's finish getting our line off, that'd probably be a good idea. Oh, look what happens to you right next to me. My friend Scott gave me this. Nice little pry bar. All right. There we go. Get tension off the line so now I can unscrew it. Okay, that's unscrewed. Let's see, can we uh, just do one of those? Yeah. Yep, one nasty wheel cylinder. And from Napa, we got a new wheel cylinder. This one looks like it's been uh, on the shelf for quite some time. This car has been nice about gravity bleeding, so I am able to do this by myself. Give her a little bit of a little douche there. I got this old tube of silicone paste. Probably is okay for brakes. This stuff's gonna just wash away anyway, so. Just something so it doesn't squeak a whole lot or make any noise. So the next thing we need to do we need our lever here. I like to take a flathead screwdriver and get in here and just kind of open that up. 
one way or another. The other option is just to pry on it against the shoe and it'll force it out. Someone's gonna comment and say, this video is hard to watch because you didn't do it the way I would do it. And hey, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do things kind of stupid, you know? Get out of there. I also do like driving people nuts by doing things unorthodox. On the other side, I couldn't get this wavy washer to do the thing, so um, I just left it out. So it goes on the back side of that shoe, and then this needs to go up against the shoe itself. Now, for, thankfully, on the Subaru, they made it easy. You can't get this backwards. Well, I suppose you can, but then you won't have a working parking brake. So this end has this little tab here. This is where your adjuster hangs on, and then your parking brake lever hangs off of there. And then this shoe has nothing, so and this one always goes right there. I like to get the drum or the shoes hung first. So I'll take this shoe. Get that nail through there. Get her into place. My stomach is growling. There. Easy peasy. Squeeze it on there. Yeah, there we go. That works. Yeah. Like that. Gets that in there real good. We'll spin that around. And then we'll give her a squeeze. Yeah. That ain't coming off. Let me just kind of work it a little bit. Make sure it's free. And then pull that spring back. There we go. Okay, I'll take this spring here, hooks into the bottom of the shoes. Click there, and then we'll hook into there, and then I'll just do something like that and let that rest up against there. Get the nail through here. There we go, that's hung on there. Okay, I got this semi-clean. This thing is actually not all that corroded or rusted up. It's actually pretty good. Still looks dirty, it's all, I'm not gonna make it super perfect. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I did lube it up. And with that, I'm gonna run this thing all the way till it's fully collapsed. Because what I found on the other side, if you don't do that, if you leave like a few threads, it just, the because of the shoes, have so much more material and the drums that we have, have so much more material also, um, this needs to be collapsed all the way so you can get the drum on and make sure it's not super tight. So the way this goes, you want this piece, you want this little, little end right here. This is what your adjuster catches on, so we want to make sure that's out this way. The rest of this catches the shoe and the parking brake deal. 
Um, so what I'd like to do is get shoehorn this in there. I think we can do something like that. Oh, I should have done that on the other side. I fought this thing. Something like that. Okay, that wasn't too big of a deal. Um, this spring here hooks in. No, you stop that. This is kind of fiddly right here. Hook that in. And we take our needle nose and we're gonna hook in right there. Might squeeze some brake fluid out, but you know, that'll get her get her bleeding. I've got my bleeder open so it can gravity bleed. Okay, we got that spring. Now we can fight this a little bit more. Get that in there. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that adjuster's all messed up. Let's get the new drum and just set it on there. We got our brand new drum. Oh yeah. Okay, so now what we do, before we put the adjuster lever and the spring on, we're going to adjust the shoes. This is how I do it. Um, oh, my bigger screwdriver. This is, yeah, this is adjuster seen better days. Yeah, we got a ways to go. That's almost perfect. So what you're gonna listen for is that shh shh noise. That means your drums or your shoes are making contact. with the uh, drum, so that's, and it should be slightly difficult to get off. I'm gonna call that good. I like that fit. And these will hopefully adjust over time. It's a pretty simple uh, brake setup back here. Okay, we'll get that in there. And then this one hooks in right here where that spring went. And we'll take this. There we go. We got fluid coming out of here. Let's close that off and give her a little pump. And then we'll cycle the parking brake a little bit too. That is a nice pedal. Okay. Well, that did settle in. Adjustments here. A couple of clicks. I want this to be as close as possible. Yeah. That's awesome. Close that off and we're done. D O N E. Yeah, these shoes are toast. Absolutely toast. Cool. Oh, we got. I do have. New brakes up front, now we got new brakes in the back. I like it. Bob, say hi, you're on camera now. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey. Let's see, where's a good spot? Oh, I know. All right, go for it. Why? Because. Do you stream it live now? No. It's just for YouTube. All right. Fire it up. It's like, I don't think I need to explain to the YouTubers what's going on. We're putting new tires on. For the Subaru. Whoops. I got new uh, sway bar bushings for this thing. New links. New bushings here. I got some nice things coming on. These things are completely wasted. New, bra new brakes up front. I think I might have a slight oil leak on the oil cooler. Making pinions leaking. Yep. Don't mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Yeah, when it won't balance. Yeah. Or you get a wheel you can't put your weights on. Yeah. <laughs> that looking good. Welcome to the extra special discount tire shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you make friends. You get a shop, a lift, oh, yeah. the tire machine. Yeah. There we go. This place could be a business. Yeah. Tell me about it. Fifteens, huh? Fifteens? Yeah. Fifteens. 
I was going to get some Sparco wheels for it and run a bigger tire, but I didn't feel like spending a thousand dollars for the lift. Oh, shit. Well, your rim is a level. A level. Didn't look Two and five, that's not bad. It's like, I think the, the worst wheel I put in as the spare had all the lips were all bent that's up on five. It. Either get a new wheel or I've already got another set of wheels with winter tires on it. I think I'll put those on, just wear out the winter tires and then buy these because they have that and that in the size that I need for the Fusion. Yeah. Just put those on my new wheels and then I don't have to buy another so, yeah. factory wheel. That's $400 for a factory wheel. I'm like, mm. I hit a you got fucking log in the middle of the Now I find the two. Oh, pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to put two ones next to each other because I couldn't find a two. Dead goes. Snaps now. Yeah, about snow wheels and put stone tires on it. I was gonna say I'll buy a whole bunch just for you know. We like just bought it because most of the time when you most of the time when you take weights off, you save them, like yeah. reuse them, not to stick on, so you can't save. And, and I'm not opposed to reusing weights because. <laughs> what? I mean, Dude, what? these knock on weights. I'll rebuild them with some spray paint. The yeah, knock on yeah. weights you can reuse. Put some more. Tape on. No, the knock-on weights. These ones. Oh, yeah. The stick-on weights you can't reuse. Let's put some RGB on. Yeah. Some hot glue. Hot glue, there you go. <laughs> Those tires look a lot beefier. I feel like they have a bigger sidewall than the other random bullshit. Zero, doing. zero. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take Benny home. I'm getting That's hungry too. This car shouldn't drive when she gets here. What? Angela. Or is she already at work? Uh, is she not coming out? You said she was coming up here. Yeah, yeah so. but we could bring her somehow down. <laughs> this will be hitting a set of wheels next year, I think. <laughs> Five foot pounds right there. <laughs> also on the outside. I don't like that. I don't like weights on the outside. It looks stupid. Oh. Yeah, I'll just hit it up, hit it with some spray paint and you won't even know. <laughs> spray paint solves the problems. Yep. Just you know, rebuild everything with paint. At the end, the paint is holding the car together. Is it on the edge? No, on the inside. Well, that'll do it for today. We got new tires on. We got new brakes all the way around. This car is set to go.